Since ancient times, there always was a pilgrimage road called the Chernohora Ridge, which the Molfars have been walking along. They tried to get to the place with the most powerful energy, where significant shrines have been also built. In the Chernohora Ridge, such a mountain is called the Peep Ivan, Chernohora Mount. That's why the pilgrimage road of mystics, who were willing to comprehend the universe, started near the modern city of Rahim, then passed through the Patras Mount and along all the peaks of the Chornohora up to the Peep Ivan Mount. The Peep Ivan Mount is also known as the Chornohora, along with the Vuhati Kamen and Smotrich Mounts. The name of an entire ridge comes from the name of the Chornohora. It is deemed that when a person travels a pilgrimage road on Earth, one soul passes the way through the universe, engages with higher powers, as well as acquires wisdom and cosmic energy. The road passes through a lot of mountains. The Chernohora Ridge has a lot of mountains, while all of them are mystical and have some legends and beliefs associated with certain historical events. There are seven most famous and magnificent mounts in the Chernohora Ridge. The first one is the Petrus Mount. The Petras Chernohora is considered one of the 2,000-meter peaks of the Ukrainian Carpathians and one of the main peaks in the Chernohora Ridge. It has an attitude of 2,020 meters above the sea level. There is a special mount in the life of local Hutsuls, since it is massive and stands as if on the section of roads, territories and passes. Thus, both in ancient times and nowadays, the Bogdansk Hutsuls, as the shepherds of the Churna Tisa Wale, the Yasinian Wale of the Black Tisa Wale, and the White Tisa in the Bogdansk Wale, have repeatedly met here and their cultures intertwined. The Petras is considered a thunderstorm mount, so they informally call it the Thunder Mount, since, according to some mysticism, like a mystic mount, it attracts a lot of thunderstorms and lightnings that hit its peaks and slopes. Since ancient times, the local Hutsuls have been searching the forest area of slopes of the Petrus Mount for the thunder trees once hit by lightning. Then, according to mythology and beliefs of the ancient Hutsuls, this very tree has already been considered full of special energy, mystical data and components. The trees have been used to make musical instruments, called trombita, being rather common in the Hutsul region. These instruments then were soaked in in mount streams and lakes, so that one could play them when on Petra's mount, while echoing other peaks of the Chornohora Ridge and neighboring Hoverla. They say that the Petras Mount is considered Hoverla's brother, looking so pompous. There are such places and views that when you look at the Petras Mount, and it seems that it is even bigger than the main peak of the Ukrainian Carpathians, namely the Hoverla. Surely, that is one of the top peaks of the Ukrainian Carpathians. It attracts people with its outlines, views and slopes. The second mount next to the Petras is the Hoverla, which is the highest peak in the Ukrainian Carpathians. It's 
That is quite an unpredictable mount. Those who have explored this mount suggest that its energy is quite extraordinary. It is continuously changing, just like the weather does. The snow can fall here in the middle of summer, and many people or animals may die from hypothermia, or there may be a thunderstorm in the middle of winter. So that is quite an interesting and mystical mount with rather unpredictable weather. Next to the Haverla, there is the Rebra Mount. It is famous since the core of the Chernohora Ridge is located nearby. Three mountains, namely Rebra, Spitsi and Turkol, from a triangle, in the middle of which there is the mystical core of the Chernohora Ridge. We may found ourselves in the core of the Chornohora Ridge. About 500 meters down, there is one of the mysterious lakes called Brebenesko. In Slavic countries, such as Ukrainian, Poland, Slovakia, Slovenia, Serbia and Croatia, they call all those mount lakes the sea ice. It is because such lakes as Brebenesko, Nesamovice, Gerishaska, as well as glacial residual lakes like Sinevir and all mount lakes were called by the ancient Slavs the sea ice. From the mystical point of view, they believed that it was the sea itself that looked out and admired the nature of the mounts, the Carpathians, the coniferous forests in the area of Lake Marichika or Sinevir, and thought it was beyond words. Today we had an opportunity to enjoy all the beauty of the sea ice, such as Lake Brebenesco. You may also find beautiful small lakes and swamps in the very Chernohora Ridge. It can be done by climbing different routes. Now you may find yourself standing next to the Rebra Mount. It is special in terms of its views and forms, resembling to ribs, especially when you go up from the village of Bistrenets in the Ivano-Frankivsk region, since now we are heading on the border of the Ivano-Frankivsk and Zakarpatia regions. On the slopes of the Petrus, the Hoverla and the Rebra Mounds, as well as in the triangle called the core of the Chornohora, there is a Carpathian biosphere reserve containing quite rare plants. It is a very interesting and beautiful place with unique landscapes. The Carpathian biosphere reserve employees have discovered that it is the place where the most rain occurs in Ukraine. 143 rains occur per year. That's why the place is associated with rain, lightnings, thunderstorms and thunder showers. Today we find ourselves in a unique stall. The so-called Ozirny Brebenesko stall is a protected area of the Carpathian Biosphere Reserve within the Chernohora Nature Protection Research Department. You may see the incredibly beautiful Hutton Tomnatic Mount hidden in the fog. Its maximum height makes 2016 meters. That is one of the 2000 meter peaks of the Chernohora Ridge. It can be found in the core of the Chernohora, which is actually 
considered the middle of it, namely between the most prominent and popular Haverla Mount, as well as the Chornohora Mount, which is currently known as the Pipivan Chornohora, though the Hutsuls simply call it the Chornohora. Hutin Tomnatic is translated and interpreted as the Grey Hat, which probably comes from altered Romanian words. Well, now it is actually grey, since that is how the peculiarity and the mythic nature of the mount is conveyed. The name of Hutin Tomnatic is also interpreted as the Black Bull or the Dark Bull. This name has also the right to exist. Sure, that name can be a correct one. Further researchers are required. It is from Hutin Tomnatic, namely from the top of the mount, that the contours of the coastline and water surface of the Lake Brebenesco resemble a huge foot of a giant man who once wandered in the Carpathians and obviously left the trace. Well, there may be various claims regarding the trace. They may assume it was a trace left by a mystical, mysterious and spiritual creature. Some giant has been wandering in the Carpathians and made a reservoir by his foot. Still, these are just legends and myths. But Lake Brebenesco has been formed as a result of natural origin of the glacial and glacial residual procedures, when from the Houghton Tomnatic Mount, already hidden in the fog, and the Brebenesco Mount, the glacier shifted during the melting at the end of the Cenozoic era and polished the glacial forms. It is from the smelting of the glacier that an incredible lake was formed, which throughout almost all summer is fed by the melting of snow. The snow covers feeds it. It is also fed by springs located above the lake, at an altitude of about 1950 meters above sea level, as well as by filling the lake with water. One should add here the precipitation and underground springs. The river Ozirny Brebenesco flows from here and passes over the Hutton Tomnatic Mount, as well as the lake Brebenesco and nearby lakes of the Chornohora, within that massive, beneath the Turkul Mount and in that direction. These beautiful lakes are of international research importance and possess the heritage status pursuant to the Ramsar Convention. The status of these lakes and protected sites has been approved to the Ramsar Convention, at least in 2019. It has become a very popular place among tourists. Here you may find an incredibly wild and beautiful nature. Here is the canyon of the lake of Ozirny Brebenesco, which dozens of other streams and springs flow into. It's an incredible experience, and it's worse to be seen. Our Carpathians are marvelous. You may watch how mystically the mountain opens and closes before us. Though the weather and visibility are not perfect, you can still find a quite similar feature while being in the Carpathians. It is a warm summer. Not far away is the Brebenesco Mount, which is the same name with the lake. It is a highland reservoir, as well as the most highland lake. The Brebenesco Mount is located 2036 meters above the sea level. The second peak in the Ukrainian Carpathians is in the Chernohora. One can differently interpret the origin of name of the lake Brebenesco or Brebenesco Mount. Most likely, the commonly used name is the Perwinkel, since the mount actually spreads like a perwinkle, making the lake rather beautiful. Beautiful. By the way, the Manchultra Nahora Mount has a shape of pyramid. All peaks of the Carpathians that had a shape of pyramid have been called Manchu by local residents for several centuries. It will be either the Manchu Chernohora or the Manchu Marmarosh. But it depends on a kind of ridge. Well, unless we see Manchu, it means that the mount looks like a pyramid. It has a shape of pyramid.
the Chernohora Ridge ends with the large Pipivan Chernohora Mount, or simply the Chernohora Mount. The Chernohora Mount gave its name to an entire ridge. It is this mountain that is considered an energetically powerful place for our entire ridge, and basically the Carpathians. Once a lot of shrines have been built on the Pipivan Chernohora Mount, the archaeologists keep on excavating more and more shrines. There are even the shrines that they do not know what civilization of the past they relate to, though plenty of shrines have been found on Pipivan Mount. We have almost passed an entire Chernohora ridge, from the Petros Chernohora through the Hoverlo Mount and other 2000 meters peaks. Now we are standing on the Chernohora Mount, also called the Pip Ivan Chernohora. Since the winds are singing here, the winds often blow here, so it seems that they sing. But since ancient times, and according to old maps, this mount has been designated as the Chernohora Mount since the Hutsuls called it like for the extraordinary dark clouds hanging over it, as well as for frequent thunderstorms, mystery and remoteness. Thus, the mount was called the Chornohora Mount. It is still called the Chornohora Mount by local citizens. Few of the local old-timers use the name of Pipivan or Popivan, therefore most people call it the Chornohora. This is the third peak of the Chernohora Ridge in the Ukrainian Carpathians, at an altitude of 2,028 meters above sea level. It is a special and mystical mount in the life of Hutsuls. According to the legend, the most famous leader of the rebel movement, Oprishok, in the Hutsul region, named Oleksa Dovbush, as well as other members of Prishki, have been repeatedly hidden here. People came here to get energy and enjoy the beauty of the Carpathians, since it is from that incredibly beautiful landscapes and panoramas are viewed, one can hardly see any settlements here. Though you may scarcely see the villages in the Hotsul and the ivano frankivsk region, which is the Zembronia with single log huts. Basically, most of villages are located remotely, so they are not visible at all. You may only see the expanses of the Carpathians, those magnificent Carpathians. Given such good visibility as today, one may actually enjoy the view on an entire Chernohora ridge up to the Hoverla and the Petras. It is a very beautiful place that tourists are fond of. The Chernohora Ridge is one of the most popular ones, while the Chernohora Mount, also called the Pip Ivan, where we are standing, is actually considered the top two peak among tourists and outdoor enthusiasts after the Haverla, since it is here that the most highland structure in our country located. There is a former observatory and meteorological station, built in the period of the Polish authorities, when the western Ukrainian lands, except for Zakarpatia, since the latter was part of the Czechoslavsk Democratic Republic, but Ivano-Frankivsk region and Galicia were part of Poland. So the Polish authorities built here this building. In the period of 1936 to 1938 there was a grand construction of this structure which has been also called the White Elephant. It is called the White Elephant, since in winter it gets covered with a thick layer of ice. The thickness of this building is about a meter or so, and it contributes to such pretentious, beautiful outlines. Indeed, when you are looking from a distance, by scanning it in winter, or just checking the photos, it actually resembles a white elephant. Here you may find the most highland place in Ukraine for the Yavernitsky Mount Search and Rescue Team, who provide assistance in force major and emergency situations to the tourists, if required. After the pilgrims reached the Pip Ivan Chernohora and became enlightened there, they descended then to the village, which is currently known as the Verhovina and considered the spiritual center of the Prikarpatia.